So today we're going to be working on the Fit 500. Why we're we working on the Fit 500? Well, my daughter rang me from uni the other day and said, Help dad, I've got 3% on my phone. My car sounds like a hot rod, I won't go over 40 miles an hour. I'm stuck at a BP petrol station about 30 miles away. So, jumped in the car, tow rope, various other bits and pieces to rescue. When I had a hunch of what it is, post below if you think what it is without symptom. Sounds like a hot rod, I won't go over 40. Go on, write it down, let's see. Yep, you're right, exhaust. Exhaust blowing. Now, of course, if you've watched the series on the Fiat 500, you'll see that I did replace the flexible at the front with an aftermarket one and the back box so I was hoping it wasn't my handiwork that had gone wrong. Pleased to say when we got there it wasn't. It's the middle section and it's where the hanger welds onto the exhaust so it's obviously gone through the galvanised finish. Um, you know, and it's it, like I say, it's two years on from when we put the the flex on and the and the, and the back box. So someone could say, well, false economy, replace all exhaust front to back in one go. But equally, she's got another two years out of it. Replacement parts, forty two pound. Hopefully, fingers crossed, simple to fit. Uh, let me show you. So this is a new one. So it comes complete with a flex on the front for the fitting for the back box there. And this is actually where it has failed. And I'll show you underneath in a minute. Of course we need to obligatory start it up because it now sounds like a V8. I think you'll say that's where it's blowing from. So you can see this is rotted fallen off and that's where it's blowing from hopefully it's a simple repair it's a coupling up there and it's a coupling here the only issue will be is if it's corroded and rotted uh, corroded, corroded and rusted together and it's difficult to get off but you can see there's no up over axle needed it's all hung underneath okay so I think it'd be rude not to fire it up and hear what a V8 um, Fiat 500 sounds like with the uh, rear back box delete let's uh, fire it up As I say, be rude if we didn't do that. Anyway, let's crack on now with getting the exhaust off. First thing is I've put a bit of penetrating oil on these fixings here, so there's basically a U-bolt at the rear, which is where the exhaust goes over to the back box. I think we can leave the back box in place and slide this out, that's my thinking. So we've just got to take these bolts off here. Uh, I'm going to prop the camera up on something while I do this. So same at the front here, two 13mm bolts. I think this one might need a new U-bolt. I might just leave that loose there. So I can get this sliding coupling off right now, so it's now a case of getting this out. Right, I think that is moving, it's just probably get the back end out first and come back to the front end.
Okay, so 10 minutes later of uh, a bit of a workout, I still haven't got the exhaust off and the reason is really there isn't enough movement for the front and the rear to slide this coupling out. So really I just need to do what I was lazy and take the mount off, the rubber mount off here. It's just a, a rubber mount like this with little spigots on. So I just need to take that off and then the exhaust will slide back. Now I've dropped these two out from the mounts there, there's one there and one there. I'm hoping this will pull out now. Doing it one handed, let me just put that down. See if we can get that out now. There we go. Uh, and now, hopefully, the front section will come out. There we go, exhaust off. Yes, yeah, so what you want to do now is clean the front up, uh, get all the old exhaust paste off so it'll slide together nicely, uh, and just test fit it, just dry fit it on before you put the paste on. And that should be it really, two clumps back on and we're ready to go. So that's also a good timing, the postman has just passed me this, which is a door handle, because my daughter actually had two disasters in the same day, where the handle, it's a common fault on the Fiat 500, it's broke the pin at the back. So we could maybe just replace that hinge or do that handle, but that'll be a, a later job. Well, when I say later, I mean later in the day. Dry test it okay. Um, so this is where the clamp's gonna go. It'll probably just push on a little bit more before we put the U-bolt round it, U-clamp round it. So I'm gonna take them off again, put some exhaust assembly paste on it, which is always good to help the seal. So I just got this from the wholesalers, put that on it. A seam around the inside of both pipes and uh, then we're ready to put it back together. I was going to try and clean the threads up on these but they are a little bit shot and damaged you can see there so luckily in my vast collection of under bench shit I've managed to find a new 54mm clamp so that can go on the front. Once you have your exhaust in place the best thing to do is just get the clamps on loose and then adjust the exhaust so you'll be able to slide in and out on these couplings and the important things to do is to make sure your exhaust hangers aren't strained in any way shape or form um, on the back box as well and also that the exhaust tip is level uh, and then the key thing also is to make sure it's not touching on any of the close points so here if you just give the exhaust a shake it's not going to touch on any of the underbody and rattle on startup because that's just annoying so once you're happy uh, there is no play sorry once you're happy there is no sort of clashes on anything and it's it's everything's fine on the joints you can tighten them up there we go start it up no leaks sounds good No rattles. Where's it gone? There it is. No rattles. So I'll just go for a little test run in it and make sure that's okay. And then uh, it's back to my daughter and onto the door lock. So there we go, that's it on this episode for the Fiat 500. It's quite a simple job to do. The hardest thing will be if you haven't got good uh, access to get underneath the car, you really got to get the car high in the air on a pit or on ramps or on jacks or better still on these quick jacks and then it's not too bad a job. The exhaust itself was £42. Not sure what that would have been in a garage. I'm sure it would have been north of £100, £150, £160, something like that with a two-year warranty. So there we go, exhaust fitted onto the door handle. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you soon. Bye.